So before you move on to your Access dashboard, what you need to do is you need to enable the IMAP access, which is the feature that you use to integrate your emails in Access. So go to your email address and then go to your settings and there should be um, forwarding and IMAP settings right here. And then you should enable IMAP and click on save. For Gmail, there are some additional steps that you need to take. So notice that there's this uh, number when you go to that specific Gmail uh, email address, because if you have many uh, Gmail accounts connected, then you should keep this number in mind. And then the next step is to enable less secure app access. So as you can see, just make sure that it's the email address that you want to enable this access, or you can just do that by clicking here or checking if the, the number is still the same as uh, the previous uh, page that I showed you and enable this. On this page, sometimes you might see that this account is uh, managed by the organization admin. So if you're connecting an email address that's part of a G Suite or uh, some that belongs to some kind of organization, you need to ask your administrator, go to admin.google.com and security and click on less secure apps and ask them to allow users to manage their access to less secure apps. Um, if you don't, if you don't uh, have this, then you will not be uh, able to enable this access right here. So that's the second step. And the third step is uh, go to this link and then also again, make sure that the number is still the same and click on continue and enable access to your Gmail address. Once you prepare your email address, go to your access, go to App Store and click on IMAP. As you can see, I've already connected one email address, so I'm just going to connect another one. So on this page, depending on your email client, you might have to input some different um, values here. So here I've um, selected, written the name. Uh, this can be just uh, whatever text they want to input and then select the brand, select the channel and type in your full email address and type in your email password. And then for the IMAP host for Gmail, this is the uh, server name and then the IMAP, IMAP port and the SMT port and so on. So these uh, numbers can be different depending on your email client. Just make sure you um, double check these uh, by going to your email client's documentation or guides. So for example, this is the Zoho IMAP port and server names right here. Uh, and also this guide um, shows you how to enable the IMAP access and so on. So anyway, going back to the integration page, I'm gonna click on save. And now I have successfully added the email address. So last but not least, the next step uh, that you need to do is go to a system configuration and click on engage configuration. Engage is the feature that is used to send bulk emails. So you need to verify this, uh, the same email address right here. Type in, click on the verify, and then go back to your email. And then you should receive an uh, email from the AWS. Just, I'm just gonna open this in an incognito window and refresh this page. And here, if you click on this, these are the emails that are verified right now. And once you've verified your email address, just make sure that the same email address is added as a team member. How the email link works is that each email that you use inside the Erxis needs to be assigned to a team member. And same goes to any uh, phone numbers as well. So I'm just gonna add this uh, email address as a team member 
And for this password section, you can actually just input whatever um, password that you want to do. So this is in case, for example, any of the emails that are not verified, you might not get an um, invitation email. If you don't get an invitation email, then you can just use the email address and type in the password the person uh, who invited you has assigned here. And choose the admin and for the bottom rows, you can just delete them. All right, and I'll go back to my uh, email address and verify and accept the invitation over here. All right, uh, I went ahead and accepted the invitation and set up my uh, new passwords and, uh, and all. So, so I have these two emails added as the team member. And then now the last part is to test it out and go to engage. There are two ways you can send emails. So um, this is the engage email section where you where you can select different types of engagement messages. So the first one is auto message. This one um, is used with the segments feature where you can create email sequencing or any types of automated emails and or messages. So the manual message is just a one off uh, engagement message and the visitor auto message is any messages that you want to send through your IRCSIS uh, messenger widget. So I'm just going to go to auto message and if you click on the auto message it'll again give you three options. One is through an email or the messenger or the SMS. So for the email since we connected the integrated to the email I'm just going to choose this one click on next choose the user. So now you can see that both the email addresses that are added uh, are available to choose from. And for the schedule, it depends on how you chose your segment. Um, so here we have the option to send every minute, every hour, every month. And then if you choose every month, it gives you on which specific day you want to send this email. And if you choose every year, um, choose the month of the year and so on. And then you will click on next and then uh, you click on either save and draft or send in live. So the engagement messages have two different uh, statuses. One is sent, meaning that this was a one-off email, one-off SMS um, or any other types of engagement message. And if it's an auto, message then the status is sending meaning that it's live and it's checking the system uh, and then sending the emails to appropriate segments or users so that's one way to send an email or um, you can send emails from your contact section so you can click on any contact and go to their profile and you can just click on email here, click on this button, and then just make sure that you're sending from the appropriate brand or email address, and you can type in and click on the send. Also, another option is just to send an email straight from the team inbox. Here, since you are starting to receive every email in your team inbox, you can just click on this one and it's the same as the previous contact profile view as well. So that's how you send an email and um, just make sure th that you have enabled your IMAP uh, and you have successfully integrated your email address. And when you're trying to integrate an email, if it's saying error connecting to the server, that means maybe you have um, typed in a wrong password or maybe you have not enabled the previous steps, uh, the IMAP, or you have typed in the wrong IMAP host name or port name. And once you do that, the again, the last two steps are make sure that you have verified these emails in the engage configuration. And then you also added these emails as a team member.